as many of you are staying home and maybe trying to homeschool, I want to share these activities that focus on letter recognition, reviewing shapes, colors, matching, early literacy, tracing, fine motor skills. And for many of these activities, you can use things that you may already have at home, like Play-Doh, construction paper, scissors, pom-poms, a lot of things that you may already have at home. For this first activity, we're going to be using this printout. It has a leaf and I put the letter L. This is a letter recognition activity, a beginning letter sound activity, and a fine motor skills activity. I'm also going to be using some letters. These are some magnetic letters and this is from a puzzle. So one of the things that we can do is say this is the letter L for leaf. Uh, uh, leaf. We're going to use the do a dot markers and we can have our child make some dots and possibly say the letter L says uh. Uh, leaf. I'm going to show you several things that we can do with this activity. If you have some of these stickers, these are actually from Dollar Tree. They're color coding labels and you get 315 of these for a dollar. We can have our child put some stickers on the leaf. You can say the color, orange, green. As they're doing this and as they're getting the sticker, they're working on fine motor skills because they're using the little pincer grasp. They can color, color the letters, color the leaf. Now, another thing that you can do is put the, the handout in a sheet protector and then use some kind of a manipulative. If you have some pom-poms, you can have your child put some pom-poms on the little circles. If you don't have pom-poms, maybe you have some of these tops and that would work just as well. Or, I really like these little erasers. These are from Target, from their learning bins, and they're little shapes. So we can practice saying the color and saying the name of the shape. Say, so can you put some green circles on the leaf? What about some yellow rectangles? What about some orange triangles? So a lot of different things that we can do with one handout, especially if you laminate it or if you put it on a sheet protector. This is a great letter recognition activity, beginning letter sound, and fine motor skills activity. Next activity, I'm calling it Let's Dress the Scarecrow. We're going to review shapes. I'm using this template. This is from Dollar Tree. You get a package with 10 and I'm using this one. And they also have the template for the little girl and it also comes with 10. So I'm going to use this one. I put some Velcro dots and so what we're going to do is we're going to tell our child, all right, we're going to dress the scarecrow. We're going to use some of the shapes that I cut out from construction paper. So let's get the rectangles and these are for his pants. Let's put the orange rectangles. All right, next let's do the sleeves from his shirt. Let's use the green rectangles. 
are right. Let's use the square to finish his shirt. All right, let's find the brown circle for his head and the yellow triangle is going to be his hat. Then you can have your child do some crayons and maybe draw a face. Depending on the age of your child, I like to put these googly eyes using a glue stick, but if your child is still putting things in his mouth, then you can just uh, have your child use his crayons to draw on the, on the little scarecrow. This is a fun activity. Next activity is a literacy activity. I always like to have a lot of books that go with the theme of whatever it is that we're talking about for the week. So we're talking about fall and the harvest and pumpkins, leaves and trees. So I like this book. It's it's Pumpkin Day Mouse, so we'll probably be using this one today. I like this one, Five Little Pumpkins. Pumpkin Patch Puppy, this is Clifford. We have a corduroy book. This one's also really cute. It's called One Tree, and it has really pretty pictures with squirrels and leaves. But today, I want to use this book, it's pumpkin, it's pumpkin Day Mouse, and what I like to do is make some little cards, some little picture cards, and I just made some pictures from this book, and so as I'm reading this book, it says, Mouse has seven pumpkins to decorate. We would probably count the pumpkins, this mouse paints a happy face on his pumpkin. So I would probably have my grandson look for the cards and see if he could match the happy pumpkin. There's the sad pumpkin and so on. We would use the cards for matching, maybe get some little pumpkins and maybe count the pumpkins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anything that you can do to make learning fun. This is a great activity. It's a literacy activity. Also, it's great for building vocabulary as you review words, pumpkin, sad face, silly face, you can talk about the little mouse, what he's wearing, the little mouse that spilled the paint, anything that you can do to help your child build vocabulary. When I make little cards like this, I always like to put a little pocket in the back of the book. That way I can put the cards there and I know exactly where they are. This next activity, I created this printable. It's called What is Next? We're going to be working on patterns. It's, it's a happy pumpkin, sad, happy, sad, and then we're going to put this pumpkin. So we're going to cut these and we're going to look at this and we're going to put what comes next. It's a happy pumpkin. Mouse, dog, mouse, dog, mouse. Squirrel, acorn, squirrel, acorn, squirrel. For this next activity, I'm using this little tray from Dollar Tree. I'm using some pom-poms. And I really like this. I got it at Target uh, for a dollar. There are little learning bins that they have there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have our child get some pom-poms and put them with each pumpkin. Now, 
If you don't have a little tray like this, you can just use a cupcake pan if you have one. This one, I put numbers here. So we're gonna put one pom-pom, two, and three over here. And if you don't have one of these, then your child can just use his hands to put these. It's one, this one we're gonna put two, and this one we're going to put three. One, two, and three. And then you would do the same thing down here. It's just a fun way to review numbers and use our little pincer grasp as we're holding the pom-poms and putting them in here. Basket, I put several things, very inexpensive things. This one is a sewing card. So I printed these pictures off the internet. I have a shoestring. I punch some holes around and we can have our child work on the sewing card. This is great for fine motor skills. Really like the little squirrel and here's the little mouse. These are so cute. They come with the little paints, the little paintbrush. You can have your child paint the little scarecrow. They also had this one, a Dollar Tree, and it says harvest time. And this one comes with four paints and the little paintbrush and has a little easel, super cute. This one, it's from also from Dollar Tree. You get a package, it comes with three of the leaves. These are, they call them rubbing plates. <clears throat> and what you do, you just have your child use a crayon and rub the leaf. So we're gonna put this, this over here. Your child is just going to rub the crayon. And then you can see the leaf. One of the things I did for this lesson we made this sensory bottle using a water bottle, some of this table scatter. This is from Dollar Tree. And I put it in here. It's 95% Caro syrup and 5% water. You can use less syrup and more water. I like it thick like this. I like that it goes slowly It is a fun activity. Children love to just look at the leaves, the pumpkins, as they float up and down. Very inexpensive activity. For this activity, I used a box, some acorns, some little pumpkins, something to scoop up the little acorns, leaves, and a lot of these little toys that we already had is just a fun way for my grandson to just enjoy this sensory bin. For this next activity, we're using some Play-Doh, some molds. These are from Dollar Tree. They came in a little bag. They have acorns and leaves. There's a big pumpkin and a smaller pumpkin. And I already had this letters, the letter L. So this is what we're gonna use for this next activity. Working with Play-Doh is a great activity for kids 
because they're using their little hand muscles and they're strengthening their muscles um, as they press, as they form the shapes. They're using their little finger muscles. This is going to get them ready for writing later on. I hope you enjoy the activities I had for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.